I just woke up. I had a horrible nightmare about my mother lying in the grave, and I stood in front of it and sobbed. I waited for my best friend Bellsprout to jump up on the bed and cheer to wake me up, but he never came. So I got out of bed, put on my trainer clothes, and walked downstairs. It was so silent, and no one was there. I ran out of the house, but saw no one, no people, except for a Pokemon I once met in Leverton Town. If that's what you could call it, it was Ghost. What have you done to everyone? I asked in a mixed feeling of rage and hatefulness. I have gotten my revenge for when you lied to everyone and defeated me. Ghost answered. But you were about to kill everyone. No. Everyone tried to kill me. No matter how you bend or twist it, you lied. But, but where is everyone? They're under the tombstone. Suddenly, Ghost started laughing. His laugh echoed throughout Lavender Town, throughout the whole land. The ground shook, and the mountains bowed to this mighty beast. My head was ringing, and I fell backwards. My vision started fading, and I felt like I was about to slip away. Ghost disappeared, and my whole world was spinning. All of a sudden, everything went black. When the dark faded, I was in the cave. I saw a little girl. I ran toward her. Where are we? I asked. I don't know, she said. Let's get out of here. We walked around. We went through cavernous rooms filled with rocks and holes so tiny that I could just barely get through. When I did, I got a huge scratch on my left arm. When the girl noticed my bruise, she turned around and stared at it. You feel pain? She said in an enthusiastic voice. Yes, I answered, wondering why she was so eager about it. Pain is good, she said, smiling, and turned around. What? After we walked for a while, the little girl suddenly stopped in front of a huge brown wall. Why are we stopping here? I asked. This is the exit, she answered. No, it isn't, I shouted, very confused. It is the exit of my misery. The girl roared in a dark, ghastly voice. Then I saw what I had not already seen. The girl was a reflection of hope in my eyes. I couldn't see the reality because I was blinded by desperation. It was... I think you know who. Now, the great revenge has begun. Go shouted. He took me around my neck and squeezed hard. Then he threw me into the wall. I felt empty. I had lost everything. Bellsprout. Mum. My neighbour. Everything. How does it feel to be defeated? It roared in an evil, triumphant voice. Then it left. I couldn't move. I didn't want to move. I just wanted to get out. To get out of here. Out of the misery. Out of my body. Out of my physical life. And into the hereafter. <laughs>